Alex Jones testifies at his defamation trial in Connecticut. Families of victims of the Sandy Hook massacre successfully sued him for defamation after he said that massacre was a hoax. This trial will now determine how much he has to pay out. The InfoWars host bashed the proceedings, calling the trial, quote, a travesty of justice. CBS News correspondent Nikki Batiste joins us now with more. Nikki, what was the tone of the courtroom as Jones took the stand today? What, what did he have to say? Well, it's been a little bit bizarre, actually, because so much of the testimony today has been interrupted by sidebars. The two lawyers trying to decipher with the judge what should and should not be talked about. The judge ruled that the First Amendment and other cases involving Alex Jones can't be a part of the testimony. So really, Alex Jones hasn't said a whole lot yet today. He's been asked a lot of yes and no questions. Uh, a lot of them he says he doesn't remember. Um, you know, and the plaintiff's lawyers keep pressing him on previous depositions. But what is interesting is just this week, Alex Jones, in a press conference right outside the courthouse, called the judge a tyrant. So this is the first time we see him right there next to her. He was asked about that on the stand today. Do you think Judge Bellis is a tyrant? Do you call people tyrants? And he said, only when they act like it. Okay. Really, like, you know, raises your eyebrows because this all centers around something so traumatic for these families. I know that also the judge, um, this testimony is being live streamed there in Connecticut, but they had to limit comments being posted on that live stream because of threats um, from the general public. So a very bizarre case unfolding. What about th those relatives that I, that I mentioned? What impact has their testimony had on this case, if they had it so far, or at least, you know, their point of view in all of this? We heard from several family, family members of victims yesterday and an in, in emotional testimony. I'll speak about one of them. Vicki Soto was a first grade teacher who lost her life in Sandy Hook. Her sister testified that the family had received threats online and in person. She was so fearful at times that when asked if she was the sister of Vicki Soto, sometimes she would say no to strangers because she just didn't know who they were, if they were supporters of Alex Jones. She said it's just, you know, it's, you can't imagine what it's like to hear this being, you know, called a hoax. And she also said that photos of her family had been posted by Alex Jones supporters calling them crisis actors, which is something Alex Jones has said in his various theories that Sandy Hook was just a bunch of actors. So, you know, at the end of this day, this case is, is up to six jurors who are deciding, as you mentioned, the damages that should be paid out by Alex Jones to these eight uh, families, the, the eight families we heard from, and also one FBI agent. Traumatic for those families to have lost the people that they love, and then doubly traumatic to be called a hoax. And then on top of that, these supporters of Alex Jones mm -hmm. attacking them. Uh, he's facing several other lawsuits, Nikki, out of Connecticut and Texas. Tell us where did those stand? So originally there were four lawsuits. He was found liable in all of them. So now what's happening is there are three trials to decide, two of the lawsuits were combined. There are three trials to decide the damages for each. Last month, um, a trial in Texas uh, found him, a, a jury ordered him to pay about 50 millions in damages to the parents of one of the children who lost his life. This trial uh, will decide, it's up to the jury, what the damages should be paid in this case. And then there's a third trial that's expected to happen in Texas next year. Lana and Errol. All right, Nikki Batiste, thank you very much. Thanks, Nikki.